All right, so some of you keep asking where the flight video is. It seems like every time we come out here, it is raining. All right, so uh, we're gonna make the flight now. The B-26 is all fixed. All right, uh, get the radio out. It's crazy corrosion exit. Oh yeah, fine. it'll be fine. There it is, it's sunny back there. They didn't call for rain today at all. No, no. It's sunny over there. It's sunny right there. Over there, but it's not sunny right here over, over the field. Okay, we'll number two of the B-26 maiden flight. This day, we, we may have some rain in the in the horizon over there, in the distance. Got the wind, it's barely blowing. It's probably one to two miles an hour, and that windsock is covered in the wasp. So run down what you got on this guy. You got the flaps? Yeah, I got flaps. What, uh, what degree flaps do you have on that one? Mm. Negative 60, 100, negative. 100, 0, negative 60. Okay. Yeah. Half second delay. Do you have half second delay. Do you have any elevator mix? No. Nope. All right. No, so. I'll, uh, if, if I determine I need it, I'll mix it in later. Mm, four cell gold. Yeah. Gold, Grayson gold, 4,000, Yeah, I four believe cell. it's like a 450, 460 gram battery. Yeah. Well, the lights are on, cool. Hooked up to a DX9, what receiver? Uh, I'm running a 90-20 on it because I had that's what I had. All right. Overkill, but it'll get the job done. Well, I mean, you got lots of channels on this thing. Yeah, I got a satellite up front. All right, so they go up and they go down. All right, we have the maiden flight of B26. B26. I'm, I'm actually nervous right now. B26 from Dynam, the new one. We have all our photo stuff ready to go because this is a one-shot deal for this guy. Damn thing. So now we're going to change directions on the takeoff. The wind is. Hasn't moved at all. It's still just a one mile, one mile an hour crosswind, if that. So the wind will not be a factor. The sun's a factor for me. So we're gonna make him taxi on down there and take off. So you're gonna see how it taxis. So a nice taxi on down there. Got the great wheels. We're gonna land on the grass here. The next one. So as always in all our videos, I am gonna be the guinea pig and stand in the line of fire. So. Do you think that will come off the ground before it reaches me? It will not come off the ground, so I need to step to the side. There we go. Needs a little trim. Needs a little trim. Gears down, gears up. Any trim did you put in there? Just elevator, I think I had a little down trim. Okay. Rudder seems actually to have a lot of authority. Flaps, but when are you gonna put the flaps on? Uh, let me take it up higher. First. Yeah, slow it down and put the flaps on. So this is, are they down? Yeah. Oh, okay, how did it handle? They didn't actually change anything. Like, it didn't pitch up, pitch down, nothing. Yeah, that's why I didn't, I didn't usually see, usually they pitch up so you gotta put some elevator down the elevator, but that's pretty good. Really low rates, okay. High rates and very high rates. So, so put it on a high rate. Yeah, let's do a high rate, high rate roll here. Might actually need more throw than I thought it was going to need. Okay, this is high rate. Oh, so it's not oh, not yeah. aerobatic, but it's a beat. It's a uh, bomber. First flight and a lot of nerves going on when you have a brand new airplane and it's only one available. And the manufacturer wants you to give you good input. Yes, full flaps. Full flaps. All right. So right now we're gonna get set up for a stall. See how it stalls.
Uh, 71. I don't know if I believe that. No. 69. I don't, I don't know. I might believe that. Wow, maiden flight, maiden landing. Uh, oh man, it actually handles very well on the runway though. Most planes would tip over. This has a really nice wide side. That was beautiful, beautiful. I was getting a little nervous on the low passes just because I'm not familiar with this plane. And to be honest with you, it's been, what, a month and a half, two months since I've actually flown planes. <laughs> yeah. Put this in perspective, this is the pre-production model right there. And uh, if we would have tanked this one, we would have had no other. Yeah. No, no other airplane no for pressure. a while. No pressure. No whatsoever. pressure. We had some mechanical issues that Diamond's taking care of from this guy. And that's about it. And the rain, right? It was the hardest part. All right, so on the bench after our first flight, how long was that flight, Will? Uh, did four minutes and then I landed after right. the timer expired. And you were about half throttled through two thirds the whole time? Probably about two thirds. Two thirds. Okay, so we're going to see how much battery life so we have left. Battery, I'm sitting 3.87, 3.89, somewhere in there in the batteries. Uh, this is over, just over half charge though. So, so you I got guess another. It's about almost eight minutes. On a four thousand, you could you could technically, if you really want to squeeze the last bit out of it, you could do an eight minute flight. Eight minute probably. flight if you um, throttle manage. I, so, so with with throttle management, we got a probably eight minute flight. Yeah, and the battery, basically just a hair behind the magnets is where I got it in. So I'm actually gonna probably for the next flight, I'll probably move it back about a quarter inch or so. All right. He actually put in some hinge tape. It's a uh, blender. Yes. You put it on all the surfaces. And yeah, it wasn't I, necessary because you needed it. It's because it will need it one day. So it's more of that preventive maintenance. Foam hinges, I'm not a huge fan of foam hinges because they do eventually tear. Right. Um, and if you lose a control surface in flight, you're not going to have a good time. Right. And this is a, the quickest and easiest way. Now, do you put it on both sides of the hinges? Yeah, I did both sides. Okay. And literally, as soon as I get the plane while it's still in pieces, I just I go ahead and put all the blender in. And this is half inch. I didn't use the one inch, I used the half inch, and you can see it's it barely overlaps. You, barely so you can, can see that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with the gray paint and the clear, semi Silver semi -clear. and blender go very well yeah. together. Yeah. So we got it here. Did you do the rudder? I yes, did you the did rudder, the rudder. Elevators, okay. ailerons. I didn't do flaps because they're a different style flaps. Right, so. there's no way. But No, you don't do flaps. Yeah. You just do the right. ailerons, rudder, and elevators. So it was preventative, and it didn't need it. But it will need it eventually as you long you fly with these uh, flaps. I guess obviously you had no yaw issues because the, uh, the motors are inward right yeah no i didn't have any issues right. there i just make sure you calibrate the escs and sync them together before you take off okay on a twin. all right this uh you get another pack and get that up there yep nice fl fly by there will So it looks like it handles pretty good now in your second flight. Well, half flaps. Half flaps. Oh my gosh, that thing just rolls. Well. Handles grass. <sighs> All right, taxi it back. Now this runway is very short. The only thing about the, cra the grass, the wheels handling it, but the propellers aren't. They're actually hitting the grass. So that's something to keep in mind there. Yeah, so when you taxi, the wheels will have no problem. Cut throttle, get some extra props, you'll be good to go. I'm wondering if I should tighten up the rear. It's got plenty of power to get going. I'm almost wondering, for the sake of slowing down, tighten up one of the wheels that have a little more friction, because these wheels roll very well. Oh, I gotcha. Um, so you're saying just basically have brakes. Have a little more friction yeah. to it. Yeah, to where you got to break. I mean, to where, not like where they're locked, but. Right, I gotcha. Um, one thing I will say, guys, is uh, don't put a lot of rudder in this. It, uh, I mean, that's, to me, that's actually too much rudder. Okay. Uh, that's full rate. This is low rate. Even low rate was flying very well. Oh, good. So let's see your ailerons. What, are they, what percentage are they at? Uh, well, let's see. I was flying it. Actually, ailerons, it could use a good bit. Okay. Um, that's a low rate. That's medium. That's high. Oh. I didn't really use high. I just used low and medium. All right. But uh, I and how's your elevator? Was that good in terms of throw? 
Yeah, I still, I think I could move the battery back a little, little more okay. to get some of that trim out. But, uh, so what we do, guys, we're going to put all the radio settings for Will's radio, and that'll give you a starting point. You know, may not be exactly what you like, but at least it'll give you a good starting point with the Expo, the throws, the linkages, where the hole we have on there. I'll give it to you to do yeah. it. I did my rolls with the flaps, so that probably slowed down. The oh, hole. so you had roll flaps yeah. down. Okay. So you had no elevator. That's surprising. I didn't see any pitching at all. So, no. all right, we're going to check out and the battery. Look, I'm a little nose heavy because look how little up degrees in travel there on the elevator. Oh, yeah. So I actually need to, I have room to move that battery back a little bit, okay. too. Okay. All right, cool.